Okay, so the purpose of this video is is basically to give an idea of how the reactions or the products certainly that formed, uh, how they vary between the four uh, complexes you can see on the left-hand side here, and then the various reactions they occur. Uh, colours, uh, formulae in particular, not the equations, but uh, you know from an understanding perspective, you can you can pretty much work your way through. And provided you know where you start and finish, you can pretty much sort of sort of fumble your way through that um, and that none of those are normally too difficult to do. Um, so I'll do this row by row and then sort of try and draw some comparisons between them and show you actually how relatively sort of, sort of straightforward really this is. It used to be a lot more of a hassle uh, and I think I, I, I'd got into my head that you still had to, people still had to learn uh, you know, chromium and cobalt. So I added quite a considerable amount to this. Now that it's just these four, it's incredibly sort of small how much you need to actually know. So anyway, um, just stick these colours in to start with. My expertly drawn table, so good at Photoshop. Uh, and then colours down there. So, blue solution, copper, working our way across. We have initially, we're going to have the Cu H two O four OH two solid produced there, we're going to get nothing with that, we're going to produce the CUNH34H2O2 2 plus, and then finally, because it's the 2 plus ion, we're going to have CUCO3. Colour wise, we're going to have blue precipitate, we're going to have this deep blue solution, and then finally we're going to have a blue precipitate. Iron's a nice easy one, no reactions in here at all, uh, and there isn't for the aluminium there either, but anyway, iron H2O for OH2, forgot that one up there, solid, uh, and then just FeCO3 solid, this one, slight change here, the H2O3, OH3, it's still solid. Uh, and remember here we have that Fe, H2O3, OH3, solid. Um, Colour-wise, green precipitate or solid. Brown precipitate. Can I make this any smaller? Yeah, I can. Uh, over here, oh, it's a bit small now, isn't it? Dear me. Uh, and then finally, this one over here is the same again. Brown precipitate. Finally, aluminium. Al. Oh, I probably should have written this out beforehand and just did some magic and flip to it, this is killing me. Uh, AL OH4 H2O2 and the three version there, stick our colours in white precipitate colourless solution Almost there. White precipitate. Whoa. Just check my charges. Yeah, just about right. The reason I want to do this is I want to show you basically. First of all, for any two plus ion, it's basically exactly the same, excluding these two excesses, which how you remember those is up to you. But I've got an easy way of actually remembering what they are. Um, the two pluses they react the exact same way in the hydrolysis reactions of hydroxide and ammonia with the carbonate exactly the same way again the colors are pretty easy they just stay the same basically um, once you've got that first blue precipitate going across the three pluses react exactly the same way in the case of the hydroxide ammonia and then the carbonate the only differences are the excess ones now you could remember this in this particular order and know that it goes there and there that's one way of doing it the in terms of actually remembering the actual complexes themselves incredibly easy. Excess ammonia is going to give you the NH34 H2O2. Excess hydroxide is going to give you the OH4 H2O2. And then you've just got to sort your charges out basically as uh, as 
as is going to be in relation to your complex. So this is everything sort of you need to know in one. To be fair, it doesn't touch on, there's no chloride in here uh, for the copper. That's only one little bit extra as well. Uh, there's no thiocyanate, but besides that, that's pretty much everything here. And obviously there's no equations, but the equations, provided you know where you start, as I said, and where you finish, the equations actually are pretty straightforward to, to sort of stick in just the details of add this in, add this in, blah, blah, blah. It's the colours and that that tend to trip people up. So hopefully that having it all there in one, it's a bit messy, I appreciate, but having, hopefully having that all there is, is reasonably helpful. Any problems, again, hit me up on Twitter, um, comments and all the rest of it, and I hope this is of some help to you.